Hi, I'm Sunny Brooke, and I'm gonna share with you my three quick tips for creating a voluminous blowout. Tip number one, instead of using a large round brush, you might wanna opt for a smaller round brush. This will give you more body and hold and a little bit more bend and movement in your hair. Tip number two, to create maximum volume in the crown area and height, a little trick I like to do is with a comb. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the comb and where it meets at the head is, is considered your high point. So this is gonna be the point at which you wanna direct the hair backwards as you're blow drying. And from the front, because the head slowly goes down, you'll be able to see a lot more lift and volume. Tip three, you're gonna need two brushes and what this does is it's gonna speed up the process and it's gonna lock in your look. Let me show you how. As you're blow drying, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to place the brush. After you finish the complete, completely drying the section, you're gonna place the brush and just lock it in and leave it. This is a great little technique that your clients can use at home. And this really what it does is as the hair has been heated up from the blow dryer, it's gonna start cooling down and contracting. And then what you can do is move it onto this side of the head and use your other brush. And then once this section has cooled down, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just pull it straight out. That's a trick for not getting it tangled. So just pull it straight out from the section. Let me just show you that one more time so you don't end up getting tangled. So, so this is locked in, it's cooled down, and then you're just gonna pull it straight out and release it. And that's really gonna lock in your shape, lock in your blow dry, and make it last all day long.